Hey all, just a quick video. Just gonna review the unboxing of the uh, Emotiva Basex PT100 preamp DAC uh, tuner preamplifier. Use it to replace this Yamaha that I have with my Klipsch uh, RF7 two speakers and my Oppo BDP105 for sound source and uh, already reviewed. You can watch it, uh, Emotiva XPA two-channel uh, Gen 3 uh, power amplifier. At any rate, just want to show an unboxing. I'll do a separate video later on the uh, <clears throat> on the actual performance of the unit versus, you know, an AV 7.2 channel receiver that's like eight years old I was using when I had pre-outs. I'm expecting to get a little bit better performance out of this and more simplicity than I didn't need, you know, 7.2 channel. I just, I'm a stereo only audiophile guy. <clears throat> and on a budget, of course, like everyone else. At any rate, just wanted to show real quick, I'll do a separate review on um, what you're going to get as far as performance from it, because I don't know. I just know I've been impressed with the amplifier. So I figured, well, with these great, you know, Klipsch RF7 II uh, reference grade speakers and a great Oppo BDP-105 sound source. I know they don't sell Oppo anymore. Or they sold out to another company. Who knows? I still love mine. Long story short, just wanted to do a quick unboxing of it. I'll do the uh, review on the actual performance of it versus what I was using before with, you know, a, a, a Yamaha um, 7.2 channel uh, AV receiver, which I was just bypassing and using the pre-outs to, to kind of crutch along on. At any rate, when it comes, it's actually pretty cool because uh, they do a really great job of boxing this. I like how they kind of double box it. This just only got a little ripped. It didn't get dropped. It just got a little ripped because I got home just in time when it was raining. Thank God, it didn't get wet. Luckily, they were smart enough to double box it and seal it really good, so I didn't have any problem with that. And they did a really good job of boxing everything with this. And uh, as far as spending 320, I think it was 329 bucks after a, like a $30 discount I got for this Emotiva Basex uh, preamplifier uh, DAC tuner. I, you know, I can't complain. Bang for the buck, I'm saying. Please don't troll me and say, you should have bought a $2,000 this or that, or Marantz preamplifier. Sorry, I'm not a millionaire. Um, but it's a hell of a lot better than anything I could have got ever, you know, in the preamp I wanted at like Best Buy or you're not know, gonna find it at Walmart. But this is her, and it's a really solid unit. The unboxing was kind of nice. I like the way they boxed it. No worry of it ever getting damaged. And I really love how Emotiva does this nice, you know, it's kind of a high end, like they put a nice sleeve around it. It's a really nice sleeve they give you with it. And pretty straightforward manual. The remote, can't complain. Simplicity, that's what I like. Um, and uh, they give you these janky, you know, cables. I don't do digital, I just do analog. This would be great, I guess, for someone on a budget, but I go with a little bit higher quality, uh, you know, audio cables than this, uh, you know, from my amplifier and whatnot and my sound source. So I'm not gonna use those, but it's kind of cool that they included them. And uh, <clears throat> at any rate, he had a pretty nice deal with the packaging. Ordered it direct from Emotiva, and I got the unit in just two days, which is pretty remarkable. I was actually surprised it came that quick. Um, but it's a solid unit. I can't tell you, you know, exactly how it performs yet in comparison to said Yamaha I'm crutching along as a preamp because it does have pre-outs. I'm only using it as a preamp because... I have a uh, powered amplifier two channel from Emotiva XPA3 that I'm uh, using for my amplification to the Klipsch tower speakers, the R72s, which I really love. Um, side note, I got another video on here. Please don't troll me complaining about my last 13 minute, way too long winded video about my Emotiva, pre uh, Emotiva amplifier uh, performance review. I love it, it's a great unit. Buy one for a thousand bucks, you're not gonna get a better two channel amplifier. But I swung off into left field on that review and got some haters and deservingly so, that were like, why just swing off onto, you know, talking about the speakers, the speakers and other components. We don't care, we just wanna know about the amplifier. It's got that content in it too, but it was too long winded. Long story short, good, solid, nice, solid rubber, you know, uh, mounted feet on it, which I really like. Um, really solid, heavy, I mean, heavy unit. 
I mean, for it's a small, it's compact, but it's got some weight to it. It's really well, well built. I, I really like the construction they put into it. I mean, for what you for three hundred twenty nine bucks, if it performs as well as it looks and as well as it's been packaged and touted to be for a two point one channel, you know, uh, uh, preamplifier with the PT one hundred here, which is pretty much a basic, you know, your basic Emotiva um, preamp. I think I'm going to be happy with it, but that's for an, another review. It's just to show the, the unboxing of it. The one thing I did want to mention, the reason I wanted to do it, do this is because um, I prefer better sound sources such as I have with my Super Audio CD player and turntable um, for sound source. Very seldom would I use uh, uh, a Bluetooth, you know, uh, going to it. The Bluetooth on this unit, PT100, 2.1 channel, important to remember that it's um, it's not built in Bluetooth capability. You do have to order separate the um, Emotiva BTM-1. It's uh, the dongle for Bluetooth so that you can stream from your phone or you know, whatever device you might have, I don't know, and uh, just jump on some music real quick on the fly with your 2.1 uh, uh, channel setup. And, Gotta mention this video is more for those and you know that really want great stereo music sound. I'm not into the AV thing, surround sound stuff. That'd be for someone else. Um, you know the remote's not janky or nothing. It's pretty cool. Um, as far as the remote goes, though, the only complaint I have about it is <laughs> why not use like AAA batteries instead of use a button battery? But it's not a big deal. You know that's just I guess they decided to do that so they can make it real slim. But it's it's a handsome looking remote, and uh, everything on this unit is fairly basic. Because how much do you really need a preamp to do? The fact that this dongle is sold separately is important to note. Um, if you buy this and you're expecting Bluetooth connectivity to the unit, you're not going to get it. You you would need to order the forty nine dollar um, USB dongle so that you can, you know, fire up any Bluetooth signal you want to go to it. I don't do much. I just want, I don't do much with streaming Bluetooth music to my home system, but I like to do it once in a while, just on the fly real quick. You just, you know, turn it up not too loud because, you know, Bluetooth music, it's all digital from your phone. It doesn't sound so great on a reference, on a reference, you know, put together system. But yeah, it's nice for background music when you're, you're just on the fly for what you have saved on your phone. So for 49 bucks, I felt it, you know, worth it to get, you know, so I had Bluetooth connectivity with the, um, into the stereo preamp, which, uh, by the way, it is the Base X PT100 by Emotiva. Um, can't do a performance review on it yet. Just wanted to let you know that I am impressed with the boxing, love the sleeve, handsome looking, substantial unit. Um, you know, I'm going to get a lot of people saying, well, Emotiva, you know, that's just... Yeah, you're like just two steps above what you could get at Best Buy. You can't get this at Best Buy. It's much better than a preamp you're gonna get there. But yeah, you know, I got 329 bucks to spend. If you only got 329 bucks to spend and you're going for 2.1 channel, you know, for sound, just sound only. Whether you're using a turntable, a Super Audio CD player on a great set of uh, tower speakers. My hope is that it's going to be a lot better than what I had just using the pre-outs and bypassing the amplifier on the Yamaha, which I'm pretty sure it will be. And you know what? Even if it doesn't sound that much better, look how much space I'm going to save that Yamaha is massive and I'm not using the amplifier in it anyway. Um, it's a good looking unit. I'll show you the front face of it. Mighty pretty. Good construction. Good build. Nice build quality. It's going to be a space saver. And it does everything I need it to do. They do have different preamp units if you want to go with something, you know, for you AV guys out there that want, you know, the 7.2 channel deluxe, you know, they got all that. Um, I'm just into the 2.1 channel for, you know, the best, uh, most powerful sound I can get out of some great tower speakers and a good sound source. Uh, just to note, one, oh, one thing everyone needs to know before they order this, and I, I do these reviews because they never mention this in the reviews, or most people don't when they write them. The little things like this. When this arrived, I was like, where the heck is the, you know, the Bluetooth dongle I ordered? Because I ordered it with this unit from Emo Emotiva. And at first I had thought that that was going to come on a separate shipment. 
take a good look inside the box. It comes tucked down in there in a separate box similar to this, and it was in there. Um, at first, I was looking for a, a separate shipping for this because it actually was ordered, you know, separate in the shopping cart. So I will give a review on how this performs with obviously much better, you know, cable jacks than that. But it it's still nice of them to give you something if you just, you know, need something in a pinch. But I've got way better cables. I don't go crazy with these, you know, these RC audio cables. They're not balanced, unbalanced, but it doesn't matter when it comes to analog. But I don't, I'm not using, by the way, I have to mention, yeah, if you want to, there is, you know, an, uh, a Dolby optical, you know, there's a, there's not, you've got an optical input, you've got an optical input, but my goal is to go strictly analog. So I'm not going to be using that, but if you want to use it, you can, you know, <laughs> finer ears notice the difference. And, uh, I mean, my thing is, is it's been four years now, I'm $5,000 deep on a really great audio file system, but, <clears throat> um, you know, Hey, I'm going to get trolled by people that are like, well, that's not all that great. Emotiva is just mediocre at best. Maybe so, but it's still a whole sight better than what you're going to get at Walmart or Best Buy if you're looking for a preamp or if you're looking for, you know, a powered amplifier, you know, some other different components like that. Don't quote me on Emotiva speakers. Yeah, I looked at the sensitivity dB ratio on their speakers. I'm not very impressed. You know, I would I would probably go with a reference grade Klipsch or some other some other higher end brands out there for your speakers or your tower speakers if you're looking for great sound personally. But hey, not going to do a review, a review on Emotiva speakers, which is something I don't own. But um, yeah, boxing's great. Just remember, dongle separately. And it does come with a battery, not triple A's. I'll do a separate review on the, on how this unit, let me get a good look right here. Everyone wants to see your inputs and outputs, blah, 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 blah. That's your Dolby Digital. It even has an HDMI. I'm not gonna use that, but it's got one. And uh, headphone jacks, got everything of that nature. You got your output on it for your um, powered uh, subwoofer. Subwoofer for your choice. Personally, I, I like uh, power sound audio. There's other, everyone's got their own choice of subwoofer. I love power sound audio USA. They've got a $1,000 uh, $1, um, down firing subwoofer that just will thump your chest to next tomorrow. I, I really, I gotta, I'm sorry, I gotta throw that in. I highly recommend that, that subwoofer. It's a, it's a banger for only a thousand bucks and it will crush you. Um, really complements a good set of reference grade uh, speakers along with a good sound source grade. So we'll see how this performs. I uh, will post a separate review on the actual sound performance of this unit for 329 bucks. I'm not expecting it to you know blow me away, but if it's just two times better than that Yamaha sitting over there that I've been used to using the pre outs on is you know like a you know, a tuner and you're just kind of crutching along with it as a preamp, although it's not really dedicated for that. It's more for AV guys that are looking for 7.1 or 7.2 channel surround. You know, if it's better than that, which I think it will be, I'm going to be real happy, especially for 329 bucks. Keep in mind the Bluetooth dongle, if you want it, 49 bucks, couldn't pass it up. It is sold separately. Hope you enjoyed the review, and peace on, and rock on, man, out.